does look like a, an aeroplane suitable for, for both sexes. Very nice looking and then just a very smooth skin. I think it looks really beautiful, stunning design and spectacular. <laughs> Yeah, well, I think it's um, pretty poor that we don't have a manufacturing base in the United Kingdom that we once did and um, you know, there's some very good reasons for that in terms of the bigger industry but I think you know, we could do a lot better in small uh, you know, light aviation when you see the, what the likes of the Czechoslovakians and you know, other countries in Eastern Europe can uh, put out and we really seem to be behind the you know, behind the times with all of that and and I think we're losing out really as a, as a whole. So does this give you hope that a company like Swift might change the kind of the manufacturing sector here and put the UK aviation lineage back, back on the global map? Yeah, I think it could. Um, yeah, I th you know, I think it would, uh, it all helps, you know, the, you know, if somebody takes the leap and you know, starts doing something, then maybe others might follow and, and you know, start to um, build up an aviation industry as well. For those that don't quite know about the aviation side of Swift, can you just give us a bit of a quick synopsis about what it is about Swift that believes in aviation or the Britishness about it? Okay, um, the, 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 the ethos behind Swift aircraft is that Britain has a fine history in aviation, but over the last few years it's faded. Back in the 30s, we had over 30 aircraft companies. Today, we have three who build complete aircraft. Uh, there's the Eagle, we have the light aircraft company, and we have Swift. Um, none, of the, none of these companies compete with each other. We all operate in different sectors of the aviation market. Um, and Swift, what we're trying to do is produce an aircraft which will allow people to fly, to train, to tour, to learn aerobatics and to support our military with a military train. We look for quite specific things in, in military trainers, so I'm sure it is modern enough, but it would need to um, do certain specific things that the military would want to enable us to teach you know, pilots into the future. It's on my list. It is on your list? Yes. Okay. That's why I'm here. I work closely with David Stanbridge, the owner of the group, and together we use art and design as well as technology to, to come up with the uh, design for the group. What's the most exciting part about designing a brand new aeroplane? Um, I think the, 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 the scope to put in unique aspects, you know, we've, we've got restrictions ourselves in what we want to have on this aircraft. We don't want a lot of things sticking out of it. We, we're hiding the, the, uh, the exhaust, we're hiding the aerial. And um, these sort of challenges that we've been given, how we can have a canopy mechanism that opens fully out, but that can also be detached from the aircraft in flight for safety, for a bailout. And these are the design aspects that excite us. Yeah, I think um, I think it's, it looks really girly, I think. I don't think it's very masculine. Um, I think it's easy on the eye. I think it looks very compact. Um, don't necessarily like the colour. I reckon you could probably change that. To bubblegum pink. No, I'm, I hate pink. <laughs> for her, maybe, but not for me. Um, I reckon it would look really good in black. Well, the only thing that I've noticed about it is what the wings look like, which is they look like a Spitfire wing. Beautiful, yes. I like it very much. Sporty and sleek. Well, no doubt fast, but it does look a bit, a bit like a Spitfire. It's pretty, it's white, it's sleek. Yeah, and it looks like it'll be fast. Yeah, I think it's quite sleek. It's quite sleek. The design, simple. The shape, it's quite streamlined. It's very eye candy, isn't it? It's very smooth. One of our focus is just to make it look cool. So you're training, you're training to be yeah, a I'm pilot at the moment. I'd say the sports car um, in the aircraft. Um, I'd love to fly, yeah. It'd be, um, it just looks so smart and sleek and just, it's amazing. Futuristic, modern, pretty. Compared with when I was born, we had a lot of manufacturers. It's dwindled down to nothing and there's a few left now and only a few. It would be good if the uh, RAF had bought um, British Baird aeroplanes. I think it's an exciting aeroplane. It's got uh, economical engines. It's going to be aerobatic. So even though people might not want to do aerobatics, it's going to be uh, fun to fly. I absolutely love aeroplanes, yeah, yeah, very nice. Oh, I fly the uh, Cessnas and Pipers, both two and four seat ones. Uh, one word, sexy. <laughs> it is very nice, I think. I can imagine it doing things in the air, you know, very streamlined. How do you think um, Swift will spearhead 
this new thinking in aviation industry? We're firm believers in that to prove a point, you do the thing. So we're going to go ahead and build this aircraft and it will demonstrate that it can be done. Flying should be a glamorous thing, it should be a fun thing, it should be inclusive. It needn't be expensive, rattly, noisy and scary. It should be cool, suave, sophisticated and fun. This is the first time I've seen the Swift in, in the flesh, so to speak. It looks very nice. Part of the change, why were you open for one of those? <laughs> Possibly. I don't think my other half would let me do that. I don't know that I'm stylish, but I recognise stylish aeroplanes. And with the, 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 the wings shaped like a gull, it looks like a bird. It's absolutely beautiful. Stylish. Yeah, I'd want something bigger. Looks good. Really nice. <laughs> and the, uh, the interior is luxury. It's sports car. And you're just not getting that anywhere else. And that's why we're, we feel we stand out in the market. Well, we're, we're going for um, a complete platform. So we'll go through VLA, LSA, Certified 23. So um, we'll be pushing through. I mean, th this model that we're showing here today is the light aircraft model. This will have the Rotax 100 horsepower or a Lycoming 118 horsepower engine. But we will be going right up to the 260 horsepowers. 